Hi, I'm Father Jim Martin. I'm a Jesuit priest and I work at America Magazine, which is a weekly review in New York City. New York is a vibrant, exciting, and very busy and sometimes very noisy place. If there was ever a place where it's hard to find peace and quiet, it's New York. But, you know, New York is not the only busy place in the world, nor is today the only busy time in the world. We sometimes forget that Jesus of Nazareth was very busy. He felt under pressure to preach the good news, to go out and heal people, to meet people. As he's traveling, he is attracting all of these huge crowds. Why is that? Well, his personal magnetism would have drawn people to him. So you have this image of uh, this kind of large, perhaps even disorganized mob following him, something like the crowds you see on the streets of New York. In the midst of all this busyness though, Jesus finds the need to withdraw from the crowds. Now why did he need that? He needed it to be in connection one-on-one -on -one with the Father. That's not to say that you can't find God in the busyness of your, of your day or that Jesus didn't, but there is something special about that one-on-one -on -one time. Think of it like one-on-one -on -one time with a friend. Someone might say to you, listen, I have something really important to say to you. You wouldn't do it in the midst of a big crowd. You would retire a little bit. And that's basically what prayer is. In the middle of New York, in the middle of Manhattan, lies Central Park. It's a beautiful man-made space that lets New Yorkers catch their breath a little bit and have a little bit of quiet. For me, it's a kind of image of what that quiet time in prayer can be, a kind of quiet oasis in the midst of all the busyness of our lives. So prayer is a really important part of our daily life. It's also an important part of Lent too, right? There's three parts of Lent, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Now the activities of Lent, almsgiving, and fasting really flow out of prayer. Why is that? Because prayer connects us to God, and it's out of that relationship with God that everything we do flows. And that relationship with God is best nurtured, I think, in that one-on-one -on -one time in prayer. Lent is a time of quiet to hear the call of God to serve.